Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and I have with me again today the Kawaii ES8 Digital Piano. Now, I want to go over a particular feature of this today, and that is the Virtual Technician. And this is so cool, because you basically have your own piano tuner technician with you, and you can tell them what you want your piano to sound like, and through the venues and all kinds of parameters that you can go through, you can do exactly that. So let's go through this right now. We're going to go to the virtual technician settings right now. And the first thing that comes up, this is one of 13 different settings that you have available to you. The first thing is the touch curve. And of course the touch curve adjust the perceived keyboard action to respond to your playing as though it had a hard or heavy touch or a soft or light touch or some parameter in between which also can include some user settings where you can make your own this is really super cool right now i have it defaulting to the light touch i can go to extra light so with the same pressure that I'm applying on the keys, it's going to sound a little bit louder. I can turn it off altogether. They have a couple of user settings here. I'm not going to get into this right now, but it works very well. And I suggest that you try this. You basically go to the user settings, you press record, you play stuff, it analyzes what you're playing, and it sets a setting for you. Okay? There's two different ones of those. Heavy plus, which is extra heavy. You hear how much lighter that is? Because I'm playing the same way I was playing before, but it's going to take a little bit more pressure on the heavy setting to produce the same kind of loudness levels and there's heavy so we're going to keep this as light for me all right Next on the list is voicing. Now voicing, that adjusts the overall tonal character of the piano throughout the dynamic range from a soft, mellow sound to a very dynamic, bright sound. Okay, so you're gonna hear a difference here. This is set to normal. This is mellow one. Doesn't sound quite as bright. Mellow two. Dynamic. So dynamic really allows you to express yourself from the lowest lows to the highest highs. Bright one. And bright two. And a couple of user settings, which is really cool. Let's go back to normal. All right, the third one is damper resonance, and you have control of off to turn it off altogether or one through ten now damper resonance adjusts the volume of the resonance heard when the damper pedal is pressed allowing all strings of all notes to vibrate freely so Five, that's halfway through. Let's go to ten. And let's go to one. So you can see why 
I choose five, which is halfway through. <laughs> Next one is damper noise. Again, the settings are off or 1 through 10, and the damper noise adjusts the volume of the noise that's heard when the damper pedal is pressed as the damper head touches and releases the strings. Now, I don't know if you're going to hear this as I press the damper pedal. That's at 5. Let's go to 10. And let's go to one. And again, you may not hear this, but it does show itself as subtle as it may be when you are performing a piano piece. Okay. Next one is string resonance. And the parameters you have for that is off or one through 10. Now the string resonance adjusts the volume of the resonance heard when the strings of held notes vibrate sympathetically with other notes in the same harmonic series. So what that means is, let's say I'm going to hold down a C chord without playing it. I just want to open up the dampers on those four notes. C, E, G, and C. Without them sounding, I am holding those four notes down, C, E, G, C, so the dampers for those four notes are up. It's free to vibrate with whatever other keys I'm playing, but it's not going to vibrate unless I play a cousin or harmonic of one of those four notes. So if I'm playing a C, you hear that vibration there. If I play a D, nothing. E, G. As long as I'm playing a cousin or a harmonic of those four notes that I'm holding down, C, E, G, C, you'll hear it. Now this is halfway through. Let's go ahead and move that to all the way to 10. You hear that right there? And if I go down to the minimum of one, can still kind of hear it, just not as pronounced. All right. So the next one after that is the key off effect. Now the key off effect adjusts the prominence of the note's release characteristics when a key is lifted very slowly or very quickly. So you're not probably going to notice this, but This is one of those other subtle ones which you probably will notice subconsciously when a song is played, but not when we're trying to demonstrate that. Fallback noise, off or one through 10. Now the fallback noise adjusts the volume of the noise that's heard when a key is released as the keyboard action returns or falls back to its neutral position. And again, this is probably something you're not going to notice, but it might make a subtle difference when you're hearing the piece being played. Okay, next up is the hammer delay. And again, off or one through 10. Now the hammer delay adjusts the perceived delay of the hammer striking the string after a key is pressed when playing with pianissimo. All right, so hammer delay, again, off or one through 10. We've got it off right now. Let's go up to the max, 10. You probably can't determine what the difference is unless you're sitting here playing at this very piano but basically, when you hit this string, if it sounds that string right away, that's off or maybe one. And if you have it up to 10, the moment you strike this key, you don't hear it, but you hear it 
delayed action. So it takes a little while from the time you press a key to the time that hammer comes up and hits the actual string to make that sound. That's what hammer delay is all about. And it's kind of ironic because for those of you that are using virtual pianos or things like that, you've got a thing called latency. Well, this is almost kind of like that. You're introducing acoustic latency where when you're hitting a key, you may not hear it right away. You might have a little bit of a delay. Now, some pianos are like that. So this tries to mimic the pianos are, that are like that. Okay, top board closed, open one, open two, or open three. Now, this is just the position or angle of the piano's top board affecting both the openness and volume of the tone produced. So, if we go to a top board of close, sounds kind of muted. Now, if we go to open one, we're taking that top board and we're opening up one third of the way. Open two is two thirds of the way. And open three, of course, is all the way open. All the way open, so you get to hear everything that that keyboard has to offer. All right, the next one is decay time. Now the decay time adjusts the decay time of the notes, and you may or may not notice a difference. That's with five, if we go to 10. Here how long it's being held. And if we go down to one, you're hearing it decay a lot sooner. So let's stay with five. Okay, we have three more here. We've got minimum touch, which is one through 20. We got temperament and we have stretch tuning. And unless you know what these three things are, you probably won't be using them. In fact, even if you do know what they are, you probably won't be using them anyway. But anyway, minimum touch, which you can already assume what that's all about, the minimum that you need to touch a key to hear something with, you can adjust that from 1 to 20. Then you have temperament, and if you know what temperament is, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. But the different temperament settings here are equal, pure major, pure minor, Pythagorean, mean tone, workmeister, kernberger, user, where you can set your own, and then we're back to equal. Just keep it at equal if you don't know what this is all about. That's cool. That'll serve you fine. All right. And the last one is stretch tuning. And again, if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. If you do, the choices are off, on, or piano only. So hopefully this video has been of help for you so that you can kind of decode what the virtual technician is all about. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.